Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA. If you enjoy this video, please persuade Vladimir Putin to hire you as part of his new Russian government so you can influence the nation about my content, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. All right, so today we are going to rob the casino. It's actually happening. First though, I need to clear something up. A few people have said the Sons of Virgins aren't gangster when we definitely are. Like Stealth Omato might have only been five foot four in high school, but now he's a registered sex offender. And Crosby accidentally said the N word once and we all identify as straight white males, which in 2020 is probably more stunning and brave than identifying as anything else. We keep our socks and sandals on when we have sinful premarital sex and I barely ever wash my hands before dinner time. So yeah, we're pretty gangster. Also, you might wonder how we actually exist if our parents are virgins. Well, like I've said before, Jesus is a son of a virgin and I'm not saying we are like Jesus, but yeah, I'm definitely implying that. If you're not 100% convinced that we're the most gangster gamers in the world yet, just look at how sassy Stealth Omato is when he shakes his index finger. Okay, so we've got a couple more heist preps to do and then we should be good. First up, we need to get a security pass. I feel like this is the 15th security pass we've got, but anyway, we need to sneak into this woman's house and steal the pass. This home invasion mission is an immersive experience for Crosby and I, but Stealth Omato says it doesn't compare to the real thing. I then steal a police cruiser to get away, and the boys and I decide to do some GTA roleplay. Please pull over your vehicle. All right, as you can see, I've pulled out a shotgun, and if you move this car, I'll shoot you in the head. License and registration, kind sir. Um, whoa. Hey, can right, you officer. take that? Can you take that bag off your head? Um, sure. Um, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize you guys were uh, Caucasian. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Next, Heist Prep is helping out a rapper called Young Ancestor, who sounds like a once in a generation musical talent. Basically, he wants us to dump this rental car he has, which seems innocent enough, I guess. We can help you out, Chief, no problem. We then roll the car, which breaks off the boot, and discover that there's a dead hooker in the back. Wow, Young Ancestor is an absolute idiot. I mean, who does that? Who throws out a 1000 thread count high quality Sheridan bed sheet? Just to soak it in a bucket of warm water with some OxyClean and the blood stains will come right out. This is what Greta Thunberg is talking about. We need to stop this consumer wastefulness and start recycling. If everyone bands together and starts reusing bloody bed sheets, the environment will be fine. Anyway, we give the body to some cannibals so that they can get rid of the corpse, and I for one am glad to see that at least this community of savages is recycling. We also help young ancestor destroy some evidence, and I borrowed Crosby's flying motorbike to do this. I know I've been saying I want to buy one of these bikes, but I've changed my mind as it's just too easy and boring. I'd rather drive around in a nice car pretending I'm not dead inside. We then have to steal some power drills from a construction site. One of my subscribers joins the game and his car has an anime girl decal. I've recently noticed that most of my subscribers have anime girl decals, so I'm not sure what that says about my community. But anyway, look at how realistic this construction site is. All the workers appear to be moving around, but none of them are actually doing any work. That's some mind blowing realism. The elaborateness of this heist preparation didn't slow down there though, as we then pretended to be garbage men so we could plant trash bags filled with bugs at the casino, and then later pretend to be the pest inspectors. Pick up, pick up Jeff's YouTube content. Let's go. I'm gonna play in Jeff's channel. <laughs> Crosby, try and pick up this gamer girl using one line. Just stares at her intently. Alright, Marto, try and pick up this gamer girl with one line. Alright. Uh, my KD is 3.2. No, 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 it is 5.7. <laughs> and no, 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 it is 8.9. <laughs> There's a puddle on the ground. Holy shit, it worked. Yeah. 
And now though, it's time to get serious. It's time to heist. Wow, that sounded so cringe, but yeah, we have a big decision to make. We can either go with the sensible option and disguise ourselves as pest inspectors, or go for the reckless option and enter as young ancestor's entourage. You know your boys went as the cringe entourage, and I got Crosby to spit some top shelf mumble rap, because here at Modest Pelican Gaming, we are all about that immersion. <laughs> Wow, that's deep. You're a lyrical genius, Crosby. Also, I wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who donated to any charity supporting those affected by the Australian bushfires. I linked a donation page in a recent video and many of you helped out and I really appreciate it. If you still wanted to donate, I'll link a GoFundMe page that is being organised through Click and yeah, thanks again you legends. We meet young Ancestor, who seems like a cool-headed lad who is in control of his surroundings. And just kidding, he shoots a yoga instructor for no reason, so we quickly bail. Probably shouldn't have gone with the disguises that are dependent on the guy who killed a hooker and fed the body to cannibals, but you live and you learn. At least we're inside, and now it's all about stealth. If we don't alert the guards, we'll have longer in the vault to grab the cash, and therefore make a lot more money. Easy claps. This is where Thick Man excels, and I'm quietly confident we can pull this off, but the catch is, we had our silenced weapons taken from us. I wait for the guard to walk past me, and I proceed to go in for a stealth kill, but instead throw some sort of wild knife haymaker. I panic and try to stab him again, but end up kicking him in the ribs several times while he screams in pain. This alerts everyone of our presence, and just like that, we have completely lost the element of surprise. Now I'm calling bullshit on that one, Chief, but we decide to just go full steam ahead and shoot everyone like we were the quiet kid in class. Shortly after, we come across our next obstacle, keypads that need to be hacked. The hacking of these keypads sort of reminds me of Connect 4, but instead of bonding with a friend in a fun, light-hearted, competitive game, you have to memorise these patterns over and over again until you lose the will to live. It's fun for the whole family. The best thing about these keypads is as soon as you hack one, there's always another one to hack. Crosby found a secondary safe and stole about $100,000 from there, which was nice. But now every time we take damage, we lose thousands of dollars because the money is in our bags. We are literally bleeding money. On top of that, mid-heist I have to pay wages to my executive assistant, so I'm actually going backwards. I also don't understand why I'm paying her $300 a day. I'm the victim here, and I'm offended. The boys start drilling into the vault while I stand guard. And by stand guard, I mean I trash some of the computer screens while Crosby pretends to make phone calls. He's using a pretend phone to call his pretend dad, it's heartwarming stuff. We get into the vault, and it's crucial we are efficient, as after two minutes, a deadly poisonous gas will fill the vault and kill us if we're not careful. I proceed to fill my bag, one stack of bills at a time. It's the definition of inefficient. Just scoop them up in your arms and shove them in the bag, champion. I guess it's almost impressive how quickly and accurately he is grabbing each one. I haven't seen such inefficient precision since Iran started shooting down commercial planes. With one minute left, I'm feeling confident I'll get another stack of cash, but then surprise, another keypad hack. Excellent news, I love these keypad hacks, they are greatly enhancing this gameplay experience. We take as much as we can, which was only a pathetic $663,000, and then the gas comes in, so we have to bail. We patiently wait for Crosby to exit the vault, but his controller disconnects and he doesn't change his batteries fast enough, so we fail the mission. Wow. We redo it all, and this time get 1.13 million. Much like Jesus, we died, and then were resurrected to improve the world. For mostly ourselves, but still, uncanny similarities. Now with all this money on us, we have to escape, and every time we take even one bullet's worth of damage, it costs us several thousand dollars. It's tense gameplay. I was really worried that there weren't going to be any more hacking segments, but thank goodness I have to do several more. Pattern recognition puzzles are exactly how I like to spend my evenings. So apparently, we set up an escape route as firefighters that should ideally let us out without too much trouble. Being the pros we are, we accidentally go out the secondary exit, which lands us a long way from our secondary getaway vehicles. On top of that, the boys 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 have clearly been skipping cardio because we can't move faster than a slow jog. The wheels have officially come off. 
If you're drinking water right now, which I hope you are, please pour some out for this heist attempt because it's dead. While fleeing, I press up on the D-pad to whistle for my getaway car, like how you whistle for a horse in Red Dead Redemption. Needless to say, it surprisingly doesn't work. Fortunately, we managed to get away, and Crosby did invest in some solid getaway vehicles, and we are finally on our way out of here. Thank God that's over. We then switch cars to lose the heat and meet the buyers who buy our dirty thought cash with their clean Christian money. I'm pretty nervous to see how much money I just made, but hopefully with the first time bonuses and all that, it's decent. $226,910. What the actual f***? Bruh, I could have just worked as my own executive assistant and made more money. I mean, I know we didn't execute the heist with precision, but still, that is so bad. We celebrate with champagne that probably costs more than our takings, and then Lester hooks up with this Asian lady and is now in a biracial relationship. Wow. Crosby stands on top of his own skimpy anime girl sedan and then shoots himself in the head. Seriously, I'm pretty sure if you drew a Venn diagram of the skimpy anime girl community and my community, it would be a perfect circle. On the positive side, we have almost $1.4 million and it's time to make some purchases. Firstly, Mato decides to buy himself a top class practical vehicle. $900,000 spent on a deluxe ride on lawnmower. He would have to do the entire heist another three times to break even, but nah, great purchase mate. He customizes it, so the decal says, the cherry popper, always on top, you always remember your first. These sex offender jokes are carrying more weight with every single video, I swear. It doesn't even have a reverse gear, you have to use your feet like the Flintstones. Quite a questionable purchase. I decide to buy myself a mansion in Vinewood Hills, which is also debatably a huge waste of money, but it's definitely a nice place with a feature that actually blew my mind. An indoor waterfall. Had I known it had an indoor waterfall beforehand, I would have paid triple. The water pools at the bottom so the ferns can stay hydrated, it's so beautiful. I'm in trouble when people realise 90% of my content is just hydration references, but anyway, the heist is done and we have a new house which is pretty baller. I also put all my cars in this garage. Most of them are just the free ones you can get because robbing casinos pays less than most unskilled jobs. Us bank robbers need to start a union. It's a joke how little we earn. Thanks for watching you absolute legends and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time and as always, stay classy.